Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. Today in this tutorial we will write a Python program to reverse the given string using recursion. I already made few videos on how we can reverse the given string. But here in the question we have a specification that is we need to write the program. We need to reverse the string using recursion. So before writing the program let's see what is recursion is and how it works. Recursion is the process of defining a problem or the solution to a problem in terms of itself. And if you use recursion in the function then that is called as recursive functions. Recursive function is that function which will continue to call itself and repeat its behavior until some condition is met to return the result. In simple words in the recursive function you can see the function call to itself. Alright this is about the recursion. If you want more information then I will give you the link of related videos in the description box. You can go and check that. Now coming back to the program we need to reverse the given string using recursion right. To write the program we will follow three steps. The first one is we need to take the input from the user. So here we need string input. And the second step is we need to define a recursive function which will reverse the string. Okay, so the main operation will be done here and lastly we need to print the result and the result of this program is we need reversed string. Alright, we need to follow these three steps to write this program. First let's start with the first step. Let's take the input from the user. So in the python file let's take the input. I'll take variable name as str1 to store the user entered input. If you want you can take any suitable variable name and here I'll use input function to take input from the user and here I'll write a message. Here I'm using python3 and in python3 by default this input function will take input as the string value and here we want string input so no need to do any changes here. So now we are done with the first step that is taking the input from the user and the next step is we need to define the recursive function right. That means we need to define a function so I will define the function at the beginning of the python file. Here we will write the function definition. First I will use de of keyword followed by the function name. Here I will give my function name as reverse str. You can give any suitable name and here I need a parameter. I will take the parameter name as str1 and also you can take any name here suitable name and now coming to the function body. As I said we need to define a recursive function. In the recursive function we will have two case. One is base case another one is recursive case. The base case will tell you the stopping condition of the function or the recursion where we need to stop the recursion. So now here what is the base case for this program? We can have two. One is you can take when string is empty you can take that as the base case or you can take when the length of str1 is 1. Length of string is 1. That is in the first case if string is empty no need to reverse that right. So that's why we can stop this function. Stop the recursion. And in the another case when the length of string is 1 no need to reverse that right. Reverse of that is same. So you can take both this case as the base condition for this function. But here I will take the second condition. So here I will take if length of str1 is equal to equal to 1. If length of str1 that is input is 1. That means no need to reverse that. So just simply return str1. Return that as it is. Next here if you want you can take else case and you can write the recursive part or you can skip that also because here we used return keyword. But here for uh, convenience I will use else part. Right here in the else part I need to write the recursive case. What is the recursive case for this program? Here for example I will take string as amul. First I will split the input string. I will split the string like this. I will make this and this a separate string. I will split the string into two parts. The value which is present in the 0th index and uh, 
the characters which are present in index 1 onwards. I'll split this string like this. I'll make A and M U L separate. Next what I'll do is I'll concatenate this at the end of this substring. I'll place this at the end of the this substring. So now A is treated as it is reversed, right? It is present at the end of the string. When I reverse string Amul, we need to get L, U, M, A. A need to come at last, right? That's what we did here in the first step. Next what I'll do is I'll take this as the string now and I'll apply the reverse string on this substring now. That is, I'll again separate M, U, L, M, U, L. I'll separate M and U, L. Next, I'll place this after U, L. I'll concatenate this after U, L. So, it will become like this. Now, M comes at the second last position. Next, I'll treat this as the string now and again, I'll split this string. So, we'll get U and L. Next, I'll place U after L. I'll concatenate U here. Initially, we had M and A. Now, here you can see A, M, U, L. The string is reversed. Okay, so now let's write the program. So, here in the program, I'll use return keyword. First, I need to split the string, right? So, to split the string, I'll use str1, I'll use slicing 1 onwards. And here, I'll take str1 of 0. Now, if the string is amul, here I wrote a, here it will give mul. It contains the substring mul and here a is present at the last. Now, what I'll do is, I'll apply this function, reverse str on this substring. So, reverse underscore str function on this substring like this. Now this substring is treated as the string str1 and it, it will again split that and we'll get the string in the reverse order. Now we are done with the second step that is recursive function. We defined a recursive function. Next we need to call that function. If you want to execute any function first you need to call that function. So reverse str str1 and here you can see this function is returning the values we need a variable to store that so i'll take a variable str2 here it will store the return result from the function next lastly we need to print the result so here using print function all right so let's execute this enter the string and here you can see reverse of the string I know you have the confusion in the step 2 that is in the recursive function how it works. So I'll explain you how this program works. So here we can see we have our function. So this is the function definition. So it won't execute until it is called. Program execution will begin from here. It will ask the user to enter a string. So here I'll enter string as amul. So str1 value is now amul. Next, it will execute next line that is str2 equal to reverse str str1. Here, reverse str is a function call. When function call is executed, it will the control will go to the function definition. So, here this is the function definition. Here, str1 value is amul. Now, it will execute the function body. It will check if length of str1 is equal to 1. Here amul the length of string is 4 and it is not equal to 1 so it will execute the else part. So it will execute return reverse str of str1. Here we can see we are slicing the string so str1 onwards so that is nothing but we will get m u l. We will get the substring from this slicing operation we will get m u l. So here we can see reverse str is a function call, right? So when it sees a function call, it will stop the execution of this function body and it will execute this function body for mul string now. So now this is paused and and the same function will execute for the value mul first. So here str1 is mul. So it will execute this function body for 
value m u l so it will check whether length of str1 is equal to 1 no it is not so it will execute this else body it will check return reverse str of str1 1 onwards so here we can see reverse str is a function call so it will pause the execution of this function body for m u l and it will execute the same function for the value u l first here we can see the function call right first it will execute this so it will pause this and it will execute reverse str function for value u l so now this is paused and the function body will be executed for value u l first so it will check length of str1 is equal to 1 no u l it contains 2 so length of string is 2 so it will execute else body it will check return reverse str of str1 onwards so here we can see this is the function call so it will stop the execution of this function and first it will execute this function call so now the same function body will be executed for l first now str1 is l so it will check whether length of str1 equal to 1 yes it is true right length of str1 is 1 now so it will execute this return str1 so it will return the l it will return the string l so this function will return the value l to the function where it is called so here this function was called here right so here so this function will return l to here okay we'll get l from this function called execution plus here you can see str1 of 0 the string was u and l and at the 0th index u is present so l u so it will concatenate l and u so we'll get l u from this execution okay from this and it will return that result now now here we can see it is returning this value the value we'll get from this is l u and it will return l u it will return this result to the caller of this function so here we can see this is the caller of this function so it will return this result to here from the execution of this function we got the result as LU so this function will return LU to here next it will start execution of uh, this function and here you can see next it will concatenate str1 of 0 this was the string and at the 0th index m is present so str1 of 0 is m so it will concatenate m so we will get LU m from the execution of this now here we can see it will return this result where it will return it will return this result to the caller of this function the caller of this function is this and from execution of this function call we got l u m next it will execute this plus str1 of 0 the string was a m u l and at str1 of 0 a is present so it will concatenate a so we'll get l u m a from execution of this statement so then it will return that result this function will return the result to the caller of that function where it is called here you can see this function is called here so it will return the result to here l u m a it will return that to here and that return result will be stored in str2 and later we'll print that using print function that's why we got the output as l u m a in the output screen okay so this is how we can reverse the string using recursion so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care